All right, so in this problem, we're asked to subtract two fractions. Now, we know that in order to subtract fractions, we have to have the same common denominator. In this case, we have 100 as a denominator for the first fraction and 5 as for the other. Now, we can list all the multiples of 100 and all the multiples of 5. The first multiple of 100 is 100. The second would be 200. Now, I can also list out all the multiples of 5, but that would take a long time till I get to a number that's close to the hundreds. So instead, I'll try to make the first fraction, 85 over 100, smaller, and I'll try to make the 3 fifths have a bigger denominator and see where they can meet in the middle. Now, if we take 85 over 100, if I simplify it by dividing 5 and 5, okay, that's like dividing by 1, that's allowed, 85 divided by 5 is 17, and 100 divided by 5 is 20. Now, I can't divide it again by anything that will give me a whole number, because 17 is a prime number, so I'll move on to 3 fifths. I'll try to get 3 fifths to equal, to have a common denominator of 20. Now, to get to a common denominator of 20, I have to multiply by 4. Now, if I multiply the denominator by 4, I'll also have to multiply the numerator by 4, giving me 12 over 20. Now we have two fractions with the same common denominator, and now we can subtract them. So we have 17 divided by 20 minus 12 over 20. And simple subtraction gives us 5 over 20. And our answers are in the simplified version. So we'll simplify 5 over 20 by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 5. And we get 1 fourth. So 1 fourth will be our final answer.